This is typically what you would see when you remove a fuel injector from a diesel if it's firing and burning properly. So I'm going to right now show you what a good fuel injector should fire like on my bench mount pressure tester. I have my pressure tester all set up. I've got a turbo diesel known good fuel injector installed. I've got my vent line going outside a window in my shop and I've made sure that the valve is closed on the tester and now I'm going to start to pump up pressure. Watch the gauge carefully. This is a turbo diesel, so it should fire right around 1900 to 1950 PSI. There's coming up on 1900, 1950. Notice how it fired a very fine mist. So this is a very good firing fuel injector right there. Okay, I'm going to release the pressure now. We'll take this one off. Alright, if this injector is good, it should do the same thing as the one we previously tested. I'll close the valve. Okay, let's start to bring up pressure. Look what's happening. See that? It's not even holding pressure. So that means it's leaking. It's leaking internally and externally. It's actually leaking through the fuel return hoses. So the whole inside, I can't even get this one to fire. Look at that. It's coming up to about 1400 and it won't even fire. It's all leaking out of these return hose nipples. So that means it's not sealing properly internally inside the fuel injector. This fuel injector is totally shot. All right. That was an, that's the first time I've seen one actually behave that way. That was really bad. So we're going to take this one off. Okay. Okay, let's try number five now. Okay, here we go. Here comes the pressure, a thousand. Now this one's holding pressure. That's much better. Eighteen, nineteen, two thousand. Oh, look at that! It's firing at over two thousand, and it's not spraying. Look closely; you're going to see it's just squirting. So this one is literally flooding the engine. And this is really bad for a diesel, folks. If you're running your engine with bad fuel injectors, you're washing down the cylinder walls and you're just increasing cylinder wall and piston ring wear, which is the death of these old diesel engines. So, you know, don't neglect your fuel injectors. That's probably one of the best reasons to own one of these testers, not just to rebuild them, but to test them from time to time to make sure they're performing properly. So these two fuel injectors are going to need to be rebuilt or talked.